The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, relay, DC water pump, breadboard, battery, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the bling.cloud website. Then go to developer zone and click on new template. Here give the template name control pump with ESP32. And select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the run button. Now go to data stream and click on new data stream and here create a digital pin. Here give the pin name as pump and select the pin number as 4 and click on the create button now go to web dashboard and drag the switch widget and now go to the settings of this widget and here select the data stream which we created now click on the save button now we can save the template now go to devices and click on new device now here click from template here we can see the template which we created control pump with ESP32. Now click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in our program. Now enter the Wi-Fi username or Wi-Fi password and now upload the program to the ESP32 board. For that go to tools and go to board and select ESP32 Arduino and select the model number as ESP32 dev module and then select the port. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application you can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on this template. Now go to the settings icon. Now click the plus button from the bottom and here add the button widget. Now click on this button and select the data stream and select the button mode as switch. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and we can check the output.